Hi guys, this is Carrie with Southern Sass Final. Um, so I had just posted my video on how to remove the print head from your XP 15,000 and about how you should remove it every week or every uh, every other week to clean uh, the print head uh, because ink and stuff gets caught under the print head and somebody commented and said that that is a completely unnecessary step. So I want to show you why I do it and actually how to do it correctly and then we're going to actually um, put the print head back into the printer. So I have already removed all my screws. Um, if you don't know how to do that please watch the other video. Um, and I've already this part right here, this is where your um, ink cartridges go. I've already removed the screws and pulled this out. And this is my cable and this is how I wrap it to, to keep, make sure that it stays clean and dry. I put a little piece of paper towel and a little bit of blue painter's tape around it, okay? And I'm fixing to show you why. So this piece right here is the piece that comes, that sits right here. Do you see how nasty that is? And I clean my printers every single evening. So this piece right here is going to have to be cleaned up. And then we're fitting to remove this piece right here. And I'm going to move it very carefully. Do you see how much ink is down in that and how much ink is on the bottom of this? This right here is why you take your print head out. So all of this is going to goop up your print head and mess up your, your printer. Um, it can cause electrical issues, all kinds of stuff. So this right here is why we take it apart and clean it. So I'm going to set this on a piece of paper towel over here. And we are going to kind of focus right now on this part right here. I'm going to use a little piece of blue painter's tape. What did I do over here? Because this thing right here will annoy the snot out of you. So I'm just going to kind of take it. And I'm just going to tape it right here to this other piece. Just to keep it pulled back. Now, you notice I didn't put a lot of pressure. I didn't bend it or anything like that. I just kind of pulled it over. That way there's no creases or anything like that in it. Even though when you see how they have this thing in here. I don't see how anything else could hurt it. Alright. Well, we're going to start with. Just a whole lot of paper towels. I'm going to rip up some paper towels. I'm going to set this down in here. Because mostly this is, is already cleaning solution that has went up underneath. Um, I don't even know what, that, what this piece is called. The cart. Cart clicker thing. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what it's called. But anyway. We are going to just put some paper towels down here because like I said, this is mostly cleaning solution already. And we're going to try to soak up some of this ink, some of this cleaning solution. Be careful um, that you don't. There's a little uh, piece in there that is kind of sticky. And that's what the cable sticks to. Try not to get your paper towels stuck on it. And we're just going to go to work. So I have my cleaning solution, I use Vibrant Vibes Ink cleaning solution or Kingdom DTF cleaning solution. To me they're both the same um, and I haven't had any issues and I'm just going to use a syringe. I'm going to put more cleaning solution down in there, let it sit for just a few minutes or seconds, whatever. And we are going to take another paper towel, set that in there. Make sure that you don't put too much. You don't want it spilling out every which way. And we're just going to set this in here. We want our paper towel nice and wet. And we're going to let that go to work on degunking. And we're going to do this part before we ever remove the print head. Okay? It's just easier to not have to try to hold it and flip it around and do go this way and go that way. So let's just let this sit. I'm going to let it sit for 
Oh, about five minutes, <clears throat> and then I'll come back and we will do some more cleaning on it. All right, I'm gonna pause you. All right, so this has been sitting for about five minutes. I'm gonna let it continue to sit while I go ahead and clean um, the little bracket thing that sits down in it. And so how I'm gonna clean that is I'm just gonna get a little piece of paper towel. Paper towels are your friend. I'm just gonna squirt some cleaner on it. And we're just gonna kinda start cleaning. This thing is actually really fragile. You just notice that that kinda popped up to the side. So you gotta kinda be careful when you're taking it on and off. Don't take it off uh, from the ends, kinda pull it up from the middle. It's a little bit sturdier in the middle. And we are just going to clean this up. And this can take a while. Uh, don't get frustrated with it. Sometimes it seems like as fast as you're removing it, more stuff is getting on there. You can see there's white ink underneath here. So we're just going to gently remove all of it. Because we want a nice clean printer. When it comes to your DTF printer, I know you've all heard the saying, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. Well, with your DTF printer, that is a very true statement. You just want it super, super clean. Okay? So that's the side. I'm hoping that I wasn't doing that all off camera. The camera is kind of up above me, so I can't really see the screen. Just why I kind of I set the the carriage and then I didn't been careful not to move it again. Well, that's why. All right, so I kind of got the back pretty clean. I got a few little. Choose your finger and kind of get up in the little crevices. Like I said, this is, you want your machine clean. If your machine's not clean, then that's where you're gonna get all your fatal errors. It's just super, super important to keep it clean. I just cannot stress that enough. And like I said, I clean my machine nightly. Um, I have another video on my nightly uh, maintenance routine. I cannot really get in between that. It's too small. It's okay. Go on to these. All right, so that's that's pretty clean. We're gonna call that good. I'm gonna set this off to the side and get in my favorite um, lint-free blue shop towels. These do not tear well, so I recommend cutting them, but I didn't bring scissors over here, so I'm just going to make it work. And now we are going to clean this up. Even though your machine has been converted to chipless, you still have to have this piece. Um, and obviously, it's where you're, not only where your cartridges sit, but that this cable plugs into it, and if it's not plugged in, your printer will not work. So... We're going to kind of do the same thing. We're just going to kind of wipe it off. Because we want everything super, super, super clean. I'm going to get just a little bit of cleaning solution onto my towel. And we're just going to wipe this. You want to be careful not to get any cleaning solution or anything in your, your uh, cable port over here. Um, in fact, I would, if you're worried about it, I would suggest getting a little bit of blue painter's tape and just covering that. Okay. Like I said, we're just gonna, we're gonna super clean this up because we want it nice and clean. If you've seen my other video about how to take the print head out, uh, you'll have noticed that that print head was super clean. 
and that is because I had actually already taken that print head out uh, to try to fix it and get the clog out. I was unsuccessful, but I did try. And so all of this was done to that machine also. In fact, it's all sitting over here. Kind of soaking. Okay. Just set this right here for about a second. And I have... I got these off of Amazon, and it's like every size of cleaning tip that they make. And I pretty much use all of them. Uh, so for this right here, these with the... Let's see. Get them out and I'll show you. I want a couple of different ones. So I have some round tips, and then I have the smaller um, triangle shape pointed and so we're going to start out with the round and see if that is small enough to get in there I'm going to get just a touch of I have a cup of cleaning solution beside me I uh, just use a little like a little uh, plastic cup and we're just going to get into all of these little nooks and crannies and get all of this cleaned up this is going to be a long video, guys, because this is not a fast process. And normally, I would not do this sitting right over my printer, um, but I'm trying to stay in the camera. And again, you're just going to get this one. I'm just it has the cleaning solution on it, so I'm just kind of running it, try to break up some of that ink. And then I'll get a, a new one. And we'll use this one kind of to get the rest of it. Um, you don't always need a new tip. Just tear another napkin. You can just get it and just kind of squeeze it. I mean, don't be cheap and don't. You know, keep reusing it and reusing it and reusing it until it, you know, it's broken because that doesn't do any good. But there's no sense in using multiple ones when this one will work. And when it's not cleaning no more, you just switch it out and get a new one. Alright, so I think y'all have the gist of this um, and the effort just to save time and to make this video not quite so long. I'm going to go ahead and pause you. As you can see, I've got about half of it half of it clean. This half over here still needs some work. Um, so I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to finish cleaning it, and then I'll come back. Alright, so I'm done cleaning this. As you can see, I have really got all the ink that I could cleaned cleaned off. I cleaned all the little nooks and crannies around everything. Um, and when I do this video, I'm going to look for the links for all of the different cleaning supplies that I use, and I'll link that in the video itself um, down in the comments. Um, so somebody asked, why do you not want to get cleaning solution on here even though you're not using it? Uh, corrosion. So we don't want to do anything to our printers, <coughs> excuse me, that it's going to cause that the dreaded fatal errors and we don't always know even though we have tripless firmware in there we don't always know what's going to cause it and so the name of the game is just do everything you can to prevent it okay so i'm done cleaning it and i'm just going to take my my paper towel and i'm just going to wipe these connectors off and make sure i didn't get any cleaning solution on them because you just don't want them to corrode um, wipe it down, make sure everything's clean, make sure everything's dry. I do strongly recommend that after you do this that you actually let your printer sit for a little while. That way anything that's still on it will hopefully dry. And I also recommend that you go ahead and cover um, your cable ports with something to keep anything from getting down in there. Okay? So this is done and we're going to set it off to the side. Uh, 
I went ahead and I finished cleaning this piece too. So as you can see, it, it's clean. Got all the ink out of it. Um, this part right here, like I said, it it you never want to do anything with the ends because the ends are super flimsy on this, especially this end because it goes down in like this. This end is super flimsy. So when you take it out, make sure that you're pulling from the from the middle. And again, it just has these little these little knobs that just sit down in here, and you'll see the little knobs down in here. Okay. Supplies over here. Alright. So we're ready to move on uh, with cleaning this area right here out. And so this has been sitting for probably 10 minutes now. You can see some white ink. We don't want any ink, any solution, any anything, because we want this super clean. So I'm just going to take a piece, piece of paper towel. Paper towels. I said, get your friend, you will use a lot. And we're just going to kind of fold it up a little bit. And we're just going to kind of tuck it down in this area. And that's just going to prevent any extra solution going down into your screw holes because I've already removed the screws on this side. And since I've already cleaned this side, I don't want anything getting back on it, okay? All right, so handy dandy bag of cleaning swabs. Probably gonna take quite a few. So I'm gonna set these right here. And I try really hard to keep my station as clean as possible. I have a box that I throw all my trash in. Um, believe me, because otherwise you're just going to have stuff everywhere. Alright, so let's, let me make sure you're down, angled to, there we go. I think that's about as good as I can get you. Let me try to angle my light a little bit. Alright, so, do you remember what it looked like? It's still going to be really nasty. Don't squeeze the paper towel because you have all that cleaning solution in it. Just kind of get it, pick it up, flip it. Do a little wipe. Again, don't squeeze it because you don't want to squeeze that cleaning solution up and out of there. Because then you're just squeezing all your ink and stuff that it's soaked up. That's already looking quite a bit better. So, we're just going to keep doing this um, over and over and over again until we get it cleaned. I like to use paper towels before I go um, to the swabs just because you get a bigger, bigger area. I did not put any cleaning, so this is just a dry one. And so I'm just going to come in here, clean up around this. All those little nooks and crannies you'll we'll get with the swabs. But your paper towels, as you can see, makes a big difference. And it goes pretty fast. Okay, now we're going to come in with our first swab, and I am going to dip the swab into cleaning solution. Just the tip. You don't have to dip the entire swab because you don't want it soaking wet. Where's the camera? There it is. So I don't know if that's going to pick up. And we're just going to go to town. And we are just going to start cleaning. You don't have to press down, just run it across. But again, we're just going to get around all these all these knobs, all these protrusions, there's a lot of little holes and crevices in here. And we're just going to get all around all of them with this cleaning solution for this first swab. Okay, as before, just get a piece of paper towel, wipe, and kind of go back. Again, don't be stingy with your cleaning supplies. There's no sense in wasting either. And so you're just going to keep doing this, guys. Keep doing this until it is clean. And if you see all that, that's actually not ink. That's foam from the cleaning solution. 
completely normal. So don't let it fool you. We'll go back with another paper towel to soak all that up in just a second. Now I'm going to come in with a dry swab. And we're just going to try to get as much of this out as we can. Again, it's all up in these nook and crannies where the paper towel Kind of doesn't won't reach, so you kind of kind of use a dry swab to get up in get all these little corners. And you can always use the smaller, smaller tips also. And so when you're done, get your paper towel, just kind of wipe. No sense wasting another swab on a paper towel will do. Alright, we're going to take this out. You can see some of the cleaning solution did come over here, so we'll just kind of gently wipe on this side. Do the same thing. Just get it clean. Paper towel again. I have small fingers so I can do it uh, this way. Some people have bigger fingers, they can't, so you can always just use your swabs. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna finish taking this print head out. I've removed these screws, but I haven't removed these screws. You can see you got white ink all around these screws too. So I'll clean those up before I put them back in. I'll just use a little paper towel. Wrap this one's not bad. Just that one is. Okay. A little handy handy dandy uh, cricket spatula. And we're gonna go around the outside edge. This one's not quite as bad because I removed this print head before. So it's not quite stuck like that other one was. Okay. And just go around, go around, make sure. And you can reach in here. I'm going to pull this out very gently. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so here it is. This is my print head. And you can see all the ink that's just dried to the edges. Okay. So, I'm trying not to twist too much. Take this past the little sticky part. We're going to take these and just very gently, there's not a whole lot of force that you need. Okay, we're going to set our print head off to the side. I have a napkin over here, and then we're going to do the same thing. Uh, you don't want to get solution and stuff on your connectors. So we're going to set that right there. I'm going to find my paper towels and my blue painter's tape. You don't really need a big piece, so it's actually way too big. So I'm going to print. Blue 
painter's tape. It says. I'm just going to get these. this. Now put that one and put that one back. Fold this one. Set that like that. And then you're going to gently fold your paper towel. Take your blue painter's tape. You may need to get a second piece to do the other side. You want to make sure that that towel stays in place and the blue painters tape kind of helps keep um, any cleaning solution or anything like that from soaking into that paper towel okay so I now have all of my connectors as you can see cleaned up all right so now you're looking down into your print carriage and you can see all of the ink that is inside your print carriage let me check Make sure you're actually seeing, yeah. All right, so here we go with all the sponges again. And we're just going to get it just barely damp. In this area over here, try not to get anything on this. All right, that right there, that's, that's your kind of your main board to your print head. Just, just don't. So instead, just, just wipe over here. I'm going to... See all that? That's the ink that's coming out of here. That is dried into the print carriage itself. And this is, again, this is not fast. You can use a little pair of tweezers. I usually have a pair. You can see. Just all these. This is, oop. This is all just dried ink. I'm not sure where that went. I lost it. It's down in here somewhere. I found it eventually. Alright, so we're just going to keep cleaning. Clean around this little the edges of this little hole, that's where the ink likes to get a lot. Then this little bar right here. Again, do not get cleaning solution over here. Keep it away from there. This is the little screw holes, and you can see that there's ink down in the screw holes. This is just, the ink just goes, and you see how dirty that is. The ink just kind of goes everywhere. And that is not good for your printer. And this is why we take the print head out and we clean it. Let me get some more swabs. And we are just going to, I'm doing this one dry. Just want to make absolutely sure I don't get any cleaning solution next to this thing. We're just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. You can see where I put my finger. Get another piece right there. Just get it. Piece of paper towel. clean solution, the paper towels, the swabs, all of that is way cheaper than to keep buying a new printer because you're not doing the proper maintenance on it. Again, I'm sorry for how long this video is, but I want to make sure everybody understands how to properly care for their printer. Because when I first started, it was a kind of learn and just figure it out on your own. There wasn't a whole lot of information. 
um, out there. I'm gonna get a little bit of cleaning solution. And we were all just kind of learning as we go. And when we first started, maintenance wasn't a big thing. They were like, oh no, you don't have to do all that. That's why DTF is so much better than DTG is it doesn't require all that insane maintenance. Well, yeah, yeah, it does. It's a different type of maintenance, but it's still maintenance and it still has to be done. All right, so we've got all this pretty well cleaned. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm not getting any, any more ink out of here. So I'm just gonna use my handy dandy paper towel. And I'm just gonna rub up in here. Make sure to soak up all this cleaning solution. done with the print carriage. So now I'm going to close this because we're done with the print carriage. Um, but now we're going to do the print head itself. Alright, so blend free towel. We've already done all up in here. So we're going to more blue painter's tape. Because in a minute I'm going to cover that. I want to get this and I want to make sure this is all clean and dry before I put that painter's tape down because otherwise it won't stick. And this one is just, it's, it's a dry sponge. You can see all the stuff coming coming off the bottom of this uh, the print head housing. I'm just going to clean all this up, make it nice and pretty. All right. So, let me tilt y'all down a little bit more. Let's scoot over here. There we go. All right. So right here was uh, is your cable ports. And so we're going to and your board. We're just going to very gently, don't press down, just kind of lay it. And then we're going to fold it over. And you can rub on this side because there's nothing there. Do not rub on this side. You're just literally, I mean, you just want it enough to stick. And that's just to try to keep as much likelihood of, of getting cleaning solution in there. It's going to be pretty slim, but we don't want to take any chances. And you can just see how much ink. And this wasn't even a full week. I usually um, do this type of maintenance on my printers either on Fridays or Mondays. I think on this one I did it on Monday and today's Thursday. Uh, so you see how much ink has gotten all over the sides of this print head. Okay, so we're going to throw this swab away. And we're going to start with a new swab. You're going to, of course, dip it in a little bit of cleaning solution. Not a whole lot. You don't need to saturate your thing. Just like the very, like this much of it is in cleaning solution. We're going to start this way. Okay. And we're just going to start rubbing. And at this time, we're only doing the edges. And all we're trying to do is break up this ink. I'm going to do this edge because these are the, the these are the least worst sides. So I'm going to do them first and get, try to get them clean. It's okay if you get ink on your I meant cleaner solution on your print head. We're going to do that anyway. But you see all that, that's all coming off. And this isn't even the bad side yet. Okay. I mean, you see that, right? I'm hoping the camera's picking up how much I just got off that little bit that I've done. New swab. 
barely dip it in the cleaning solution. We're just gonna clean up these these edges. All right. So now we're doing the bad side. And you can just see I don't like every single color. And we're just going to do the same thing. Oh wow, see? That is a giant piece of dried ink that just came off. Okay, make sure it's clean. And again, we do this. Let's always be proactive. Try to prevent problems instead of reacting to them. Okay. And you can see on this paper towel how much ink is still on it. So we're going to go back, and you're just going to keep doing this until you're not getting any more ink off of it. And we haven't even got to the head part yet. The head face, I guess I should say. Okay? I mean, look at that. That's just nasty. And that was all on your print head. Alright, so, fresh swab, and now we're going to move to your print head face. Alright, so when you do this, it is extremely important that you not put pressure on your print head, okay? You're going to literally just take it and just run it on there. You do not press, you do not put any pressure. Okay? And then come back and you go the other way. And you can see right there, I'm actually going to take this one that right there is more dried ink and you see this one right here came off of the print head face and how much ink is actually on that so we're going to just clean that off okay dip it in your solution just a little little bit of solution Okay, I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to repeat this process three or four times. As you can see how it's pulling that ink out. Okay, let me get some more swabs. And I try to hold it where this part is up so that if there's anything that drips, it drips down this way. I'm just going to go this way now. And again, I'm not pressing. Uh, I'm just running this over and you can just see all that ink. I get off camera guys I'm sorry it's not easy for me to see the camera while I'm doing this once again you see how that was just doing the print head face you see how just how dirty it is and like I said I do this weekly and this was only a couple of days ago that I did this one and we're just gonna keep going see so now we're getting you can see the cleaning solution is, cl is clear. That's what you want. If it looks milky, that's more ink. See how that kind of had a little bit of a milky, milky sheen to it? That means that there was still ink going that way. Just take it, wipe it off, and you can see the white ink and the black ink. Completely fresh. Another fresh swab. And repeat. 
and just keep doing this until you get no more ink because ink gets where the silver is and what versus where the clear is and do not touch this with your fingers um, ink gets right up in this little groove and that's what we're trying to get out and that's why when you're doing it the different directions sometimes like when it was clean that's going this way that means that this side and this side is clean but if you look right here you can actually still see ink which is why when we go this way it's not clear and you see that milky residue that's because there's still ink caught up in these little grooves so I'm just going to get it we're just going to clean it again no pressure you're just rubbing it against it okay and you can actually see that little bit of ink right there I think that was on camera right there. That's what we're trying to get out. And there it goes. See? We got it. Alright, so inspect. I'm not seeing any more ink. So I'm going to do a round the outside one last time Ooh, there's a big old clump got it ink is all like it's all up in it pretty much everywhere. If ink can get there, it will get there. There's a string of it. We're just going to gently clean. You can see all that. Hopefully you can see all that. And I've got it kind of up close to my face, so we're just going to Get all this ink off. All of it. No ink. Pull that back just a touch. Okay. And you can see just all of it. Alright. And I'm just showing you. I'm leaving the swabs down there. Just so you see how many swabs I'm going through to get this clean. Okay. Because so I want you to understand exactly what it takes to get and keep this machine clean all right so hopefully this is the last one I've dipped it in cleaning solution and so we're gonna go down again zero pressure you're just you're basically setting it and pull okay looks good that way we're gonna take it this way okay if you see right there and we weren't done. See that ink? That's what that is. So we're just going to kind of rub, rub. And this is just the way it goes. You think you're done and you're not. And so you're just going to keep going. Go diagonal. See how, like I said, you think you're done, and what your eye can't see, the cleaning solution is still picking up. And again, I'm not pressing, I am literally just setting this on there. Oh, I just realized I was totally not in focus. I'm so sorry. But again, you see, thought it was clean. Thought I was good. But no pressure. I'm literally just setting it down. And I have it gripped at the very end. And you can see this black ink. And we're just going to keep going. 
because like I said I want this thing nice and sparkly clean before I put it back into the machine. Okay, cleaning solution. And again, there is zero pressure. I just have it sitting down on there. And I'm just using, I'm trying to show, I just, I'm, I'm just using these two fingers and it's not even gripping it, it's just holding it. Okay, you see the black ink? So we're gonna flip it, clean it again. And you could probably do this for an hour or more and not get every single drop of ink off. All right, so we're watching it. We're watching that solution as it pulls. Okay, we're gonna take it, wipe it off. Okay, all right, so we're done with the cleaning solution. Now we're just gonna take a dry, um, dry swab and we're gonna go over and pick up all the solution that is still on, especially on this side, because this is where your connectors are and you do not want solution anywhere where your connectors are. When that one gets filled up, get another one, and just start, just keep on going guys, keep on going. Oops. You see, I just put a tiny little drop of ink, dried ink, right in the middle of that print head. That I just spent all this time cleaning, so I'm just going to get it solution. I'm going to get it off. There it is, right there. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. We want everything dry before we put it back into our printer. These are these tiny, 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 tiny little screws. And Solution likes to kind of get caught around them, so I just kind of use my, my swab here to get it off when your stuff swab starts kind of foaming like that and it's kind of full wherever you're using it at blot it off and keep going I think that's good you see the little droplets of cleaning solution still on the print head face that's fine it's not going to hurt anything um, just to make absolutely sure though I'm going to do one more the cleaning solution And that's fine the way it looks right now that's just cleaning solution that's not ink that's not anything it's just solution so you can go like this and it's just gonna beat up and it's perfectly fine okay so now I'm gonna set this down I'm gonna get a another piece of blue painters I mean I have um, Lint for your rag, move this, and I'm just going to set my print head down, and I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes before I put it back in the machine, and that's just ensuring that any solution that got anywhere where it, spo is, it wasn't supposed to kind of has a moment to dry, 
I'm going to take this because you can see how much dried ink. This right here was a screw hole. Look at that. I'm telling you, if ink can get there, it gets there. So it's good. I'm just going to set it up like this. I'm going to move all these. And I just have it. Again, I have the edge with the tape. I've got it up. And I'm just going to set it down. And like I said, I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes. This right here is how many cleaning swabs we just used. That's a lot of swabs. Two four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, and then I actually threw two away, so fifteen. Fifteen swabs is what we use to clean the print carriage and the print head. And again, this was just cleaned on Monday. So, it takes a lot. These DTF printers, the maintenance on them is no joke. And as always, the name of the game is to prevent issues before they're happening. So I'm going to let this dry um, for about 5-10 minutes and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause the video and I'm going to come back and we're going to reinstall the print head into the printer. Alright guys, so I've moved the camera around. Um, I'm hoping that y'all can kind of see better what I'm doing. I'm kind of working with some limitations here on my space and where I can place the camera so that it's so that y'all can see, but it's out of my way. So hopefully this works better. Um, I may have to move it again a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't impede y'all being able to see. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and get started again. So here is our freshly cleaned print head. Looks much, much better. That looks like white ink on it. It's not. It's just cleaning solution. It's just the way that everything is picking up. So, we're going to go ahead and take this tape, I'm going to peel it off this side over here, and you can see it got some cleaning solution on it, but it's okay, that was the whole purpose of us putting it over here. I set this off to the side, and I'm going to get another sponge, okay, and we're going to make absolutely sure it's clean. But not only is it clean, but it's dry. When I put this printer back together, I actually won't even turn it on for the rest of today. Sorry, I know I'm out of out of the frame there. I'm just running it across, making sure everything is clean, everything is dry. Um, I, what I was saying was I won't even um, turn this printer on. I uh, will let it sit overnight. Um, and that way any solution or anything that's still damp has a chance to dry out before I ever even turn this printer back on. Um, we're we'll, we'll going to try to prevent any, any issues. Alright, so here's my cables. I'm going to go ahead. Um, I took the white paper towel off because I shouldn't have used the white paper towel. You want to use the lint free. You don't want anything sticking to these silver connectors right here. And this is going to be a little hard to do, so I may be out of frame. 
Uh, sometimes, like I said, I'm, I'm working in a really tight space and trying to make sure that I show y'all everything. Uh, so here's the print head. Here's the connector. It looks like it should go in um, like this. So we're going to take these connectors. All right. And you've got to kind of finagle them a little bit. You don't want... There we go. All right. So these two are kind of stuck together, and I don't like that. So I'm going to kind of, there's a little piece of, of tape in between them. I'm going to pull them apart. Okay. And that's just going to make it a little bit easier for me to work with. And so I'm going to start with the bottom. And I'm going to show you. You can see that these cables, the way that they have them in here, all crimped up, they, go, they, they, they lay back exactly how they're supposed to go. And so when you get this and you know it goes in like this, you know that this one right here is the bottom and this is the top. Okay? And that's because when you put them together, hopefully, I don't know if the camera's picking this up. It may be reflecting too much. But you can see that this is on the bottom and this is on the top. Alright, so I'm going to pull my top one. Oh, they stuck back together. I'm going to pull my top one off and I'm going to connect my bottom one. And so you don't want to touch these silver connectors. You're just going to stick them back in here. You got to kind of wiggle. And then it just slides back in. Okay? So now I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to do the same thing. It may have been easier to do the top one first. In fact, I'm going to take that bottom one out. I'm going to go ahead and do the top one first. Sorry, I'm, i gotta, I got to tilt this so that I can see where I'm at and what I'm doing. And this can take some time. Don't get in a rush. Take your time. So the cable is just all up in my way. Got the top one in. It's fit in there nice and snug. Let me get the bottom one. Make sure it's all in there nice and snug. Make sure the top one didn't come out. Okay, pinch these two back together. Get them one last little, oh, that one came out. It's like the first time you take them out, it's really, really hard to get them out. And then after that, all right, so those are in there. Okay. And now you're going to, shouldn't have taken the tape off of that one. Hang on one second. I'm going to take this cable and Keep it back to this again. Keep it out of my way. Okay, and so now you're just going to set this back in here gently. You're going to have to just kind of finagle it until it goes back in and it lays flush. 